What's poppin' everybody? It's the Sabro Final Four. Got another TCG match with our boss Terra Firma deck, which is Torterra. Terra Firma, it used to be the it's the name of the original, you know, Torterra theme deck. First Diamond and Pearl set. You get the starters, Infernape, um, Torterra, and then Empoleon. For Empoleon it was Royal Frost. Uh, Torterra is Terra Firma. And then for Infernape, I don't really know, I don't really remember. Man, when I was a kid, I always wanted to get that Empoleon theme deck and never got the chance to. When we went to the store and saw like the DP stuff at the time, it was only the Torterra decks and uh, they had Mysterious Treasure stuff too. And they didn't even have the Rampardos deck, it was the damn Bastiodon deck, which we got in the end. Me and my brother, we got a copy of each. But yeah, good times. Man, I really wish my brother would still play TCG regularly. We could play those old school formats, but he doesn't. Anyway, um, open up with my Shroomish. Got the Serena down, and I'll be able to make the Arvin play and evolve at least into one Grottle from what it seems. So got to get the Nest Ball, and I got to get the Technical Machine, even though we already had one in hand anyway. So hopefully I get lucky with the trekking shoes and maybe see another Pokemon. Even if I just see, um, I was going to say the Pofin to get the Shroomishes, but I didn't. So yeah, just grass energy. I needed this too though, actually. Otherwise we weren't going to be able to make it happen. Okay, so not the greatest of starts. Or rather, actually a really bad start. But at least I get the Grottle out. Did something as opposed to nothing now my opponent opened up with squirtle and his own radiant pokemon the greninja there and it's going for the pofin get squirtle and be doofy yeah, just so much easier when you can just use that to just get your pokemon turtwig having 80 hp and block in 20 it doesn't really amount to much i gotta be honest i guess if it's sitting on the bench then yeah, Greninja can actually kill that guy. What would you know about that? But besides that, I mean, just the advantage you get from being able to search those guys easily with Pofin, it's just huge. It will make this deck a lot more consistent if I could favor Pofin. All right, and it goes for Irida. Evolved into the War Turtle, actually. So this is going to be a straight Blastoise deck. I would imagine it's the Blastoise X from 151. Yeah, he searched it. And believe it or not, this is actually a really bad matchup for us. For a couple of reasons. It's kind of ironic because we're grass, blast is water. So you'll be able to hit him for weakness in the games. But, um, well, I mean, I guess in the games, blast can hit Torterra with Ice Beam too. But it's not a good matchup because we don't hit him for weakness. For one, as I said. And number two... That guy's effect to block 30 is going to directly interfere with our attacks. Even if I always attack with a full bench, he's going to block 30, so I'm 150. So it's always going to be a 3-hit KO, which is just... It sucks so much ass. And meanwhile for him, it's always going to be a 2-hit KO. So I'll be at a massive disadvantage as the game progresses. Um, we're gonna kill this war turtle instantly. i just gonna take this opportunity to make use of the Breloom. Um, it should give me a little bit of an edge. He loses an energy too. Damn, what else are we gonna get? I guess I'll get another nest ball. Damn it, but I'm pretty much supporterless. I discarded that Eono 2 in the beginning. I had to. So hopefully he can't respond, but honestly, I mean, he's got nine cards in hand. The Bidoof is already down. As soon as he sees or is able to get the barrel, then I'll be even more uh, of a disadvantage. And we get a Berlin from the prize. is not what I want to see. Yeah, just not, not really good. And uh, if he kills this thing, I'll just, I'll be forced to use Miriam to shuffle back Breloom, not even Torterra's. That's gonna be pretty bad. So another Irida. He must have the pieces in hand. I mean, he used Irida the previous turn too. So Rare Candoy, Blastoise, EX. 
about the only thing I can think of that might be all right is the fact that he can't put two energies in attack, but he got that relicant down, which it means he can attack. I guess he's just going to do 20 for 1. I don't know why he has that relicant down, but yeah, I'm really unlucky here because he doesn't have the greatest of starts too. You know, he won't be able to get that big attack in, but of course, this Breloom, the stupid effects they give these regular Pokemon, Pokemon Company should be ashamed. It's so weak, and they make it so you can't use Knuckle Impact or attack at all on the next turn. So, it's just fully there to do nothing, basically. That's it. So, since I just drew the Pofin, I won't be able to make any attack. If we had a Grass Energy and I could have attacked with Torterra, it was going to be huge here. But I don't have anything. I mean, what am I going to do? I guess I can use the technical machine. But I actually can't even do that. You can't attack at all if you did 120 with Breloom. So I can't do anything. I got to retreat. I guess save an energy at least. And not lose the stage one. But I mean, this was just a terrible turn. And it's just ridiculous, man. These... these regular Pokemon are so weak it's crazy they're making them so weak and they give them crazy ass conditions and limitations on top of that like 120 for 2 in this day and age is nothing special is nothing good I just have this thing in as something to kill like Mimikyu that's it but then if you do 120 you can't attack at all with Breloom just think of all the disadvantage I got myself into here with this effect. And of course, it's going to go for that boss's orders, get the first hit on the Torterra. And I mean, just this alone, it seals the game in my loss. Uh, he won't kill me, but he gets the first big attack in. I'm going to have to attack multiple times to kill this thing. <sighs> it's pretty annoying. Everything went wrong in this match. But again, I mean, it's the designer's fault too. Because I could have done something with the Breloom. I could have at least, since I put the two energies on the Breloom, if I could just attack with 120 again, I could have accomplished something. But no, just not accomplish anything. Just absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> I hate this shit, man. I hate this shit, but what can I do? We make videos on the modern Pokemon TCG. Can't can't do it for the old shit. Man, I'm hoping to God someday we get some kind of program, even if it's something fan-made. Uh, that's not like the tabletop simulator. So I could just play some old school shit and show you guys just how much better it is. Just how much more balanced it is. Anyway, enough complaining. So he does need to discard with Blastoise every time he attacks, but it's not really that much difficult. I'm guessing his deck is based around that, so he should be aware. But he just retreated either way, used the, the um, Palkia V-Star, and that thing is also going to be a pain in the ass because I got to attack it twice. He's going to be getting easy kills on me. We're going to grab everybody back with Miriam. And I guess I see some stuff. I mean, let's use the tricky shit. I got to get the grass energy because I won't be able to do anything with Breloom if I don't do that. And I'm going to have to pass the turn. I need to see something next turn. I'm not really drawing any good draws despite of all of my other disadvantages. So at least we softened up this guy. So if he doesn't retreat him, I might be able to just kill something finally. So another Squirtle comes down. Man, even with all the disadvantages of just playing against this Blastoise, you know, if I didn't have such bad luck, maybe, you know, we got the first attack into the Blastoise. Maybe I could have done something, you know, switch her around on the stage twos. Okay, so I get a great um, top deck, which is Cynthia. 
and I'm gonna have to discard the boss's orders unfortunately but I think ultimately I mean it's not really gonna matter uh, I don't have a second Turtwig so we got to get the Torterra but yeah I don't think we'll make it to be close enough that I'll need a boss's orders and the uh, prime catcher so let's get some stuff get the Turtwig I gotta fill my bench here otherwise I can't kill this thing so 180 we collect two more prizes Palkia is out uh, he did use the V-star power though and I mean he's gonna promote the Blastoise I won't be able to kill this thing if I had like the a spec tool that gives plus 50 then it would have been a different story but because we run the prime catcher I can't do it. So another Blastoise CX comes out. I'll be lucky if I, if I even manage to deal with this one. Best case scenario, we just kill this one. And then I'll be in a position where I won't have attackers. My dudes are going to be hurt. I'm going to have to be switching. And then he's just going to need to pull to win. Uh, attaches an energy. It's not even like I got the luxury of he won't have energies in enough in time so by the time this blast list goes down the other one is going to be ready damn it and he goes for a boss's orders on the Tarina. um all right i suppose it, honestly it doesn't really matter um i lose a, a grass benched pokemon but against this thing is just a three hit ko anyway if I did 180, this guy wasn't dying. So let's see. Grottles. And I mean, I evolve into the Torterra regardless. You know, that's not really going to accomplish much, to be honest. But I think I got to use it. Maybe if he can't get water energies to discard. And we see the berry. As I've said in the previous match um i made a mistake having this card as opposed to worker but i still got it in because that's how i showed you guys the deck profile so might as well um it doesn't i mean i could have taken it out i'll take it after I show you guys a bunch of matches but it, and it doesn't really matter unless you play it and you really want to get rid of a stadium your opponent has Okay, the barrel, he draws. I mean, it's more iconic this way. This is a fun deck at the end of the day. Torterra is not exactly tier 1 meta. So Barry, he just goes with Torterra. You know, like in the Terrafima theme deck, you, you had that rival card in, which was Barry, basically. Cool stuff. Okay, so superior energy retrieval. Yeah, he's always going to have enough energies. Uh, he'll be able to make a big attack here. I'm going to need to switch because if I can't switch, then I'm dead. And even if I do, if he pulls the Torterra, I still lose. So another dude is ready and man, uh, he's got that A spec. That's going to boost the damage. Why did he put it there? You know, you would win, I think, if he, you know, 280 plus 50. No, actually, he wouldn't win. I would survive with 10 HP. So, okay, he played it on the bench. And uh, what are we going to do next? I mean, I guess I'll put the grass on Torterra. It, it doesn't make a difference. And I'll use Grusha, I think. I mean... I'll draw the same amount whether I use her or Barry. And we didn't see a switch. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lose. Uh we made it close though. I don't know how I did it, but I did make it close. But it just wasn't enough, ultimately. Uh he's still gonna be able to kill me. That Blastoise, I wouldn't be able to KO that. I would have to just counter catch or something use a fresh attacker I needed a bunch of cards so it was possible but 
not easy. So that's basically the game. I mean, pretty interesting at the end of the day. Two starters going against each other. Gen 4 and Gen 1. Torterra and Blastoise. Um, that's the match. Waiting for this guy to finish me off. He's still doing random stuff for no reason. But I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share the, share the video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I...